But once again, your San Francisco team is not in San Francisco. <laughs> no, we got this stupid weather and beautiful people all Miami, over the place. Miami, Florida again. Yeah. We got an interesting fun fact about Florida today. It turns out there are more alligators in the city of Miami than there are human beings. Yeah, that, that's true. Wikipedia. That's true. Well, also, I found on Wikipedia information about a game called The Dishwasher Vampire Smile. It's an Xbox Live game, and this was actually born out of a game that was developed using the XNA tools. Yeah. My fellow name is James Silva. Where you get to play as Yuki, the prisoner, or you can go ahead and play as the dishwasher as well. Yeah, you got two characters this time, and they have different stories, but they play through the same levels. Yeah. Whether you're playing as the girl or the boy, this is a very emo game. Oh, it's very emo and very violent. Yeah, I mean, it's very kind of youthful in the way it approaches sort of this story. And they, they have a, a, another kind of graphic novel approach to it that's kind of cool. They tell the story through these little panels and, and cartoon cutscenes. Yeah. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense what's no, man, happening. The earth has exploded and it's you're, and you're to blame. It's, a, it's goofy. What it's really about is zipping around these levels. And you can do that with the right stick. You kind of Once you unlock your blood mist. Yeah. Yes. You disappear in a little poof. And you show up somewhere else and you do that, and then and then you can kind of fly that way. You can actually kind of zoom up into yeah. the air and stuff. I mean, you can just keep going nonstop, and then all the, you you know you're fighting all these different bad guys, and it'll tell you you have this finisher available, and you're just diving into them and splitting them open. I hate when reviewers use the term visceral. This, but this is visceral. It is. There's blood everywhere, and things are happening, and limbs are getting ripped off. As you're kind of leaping about in this Terpsichorean <gasps> movement, where you're, you know, kind of dancing, Good and word. flitting around. It's a million-dollar word. But you're kind of flitting around, and you're, you're killing guys. It reminded me a lot of a 2D Devil May Cry. Yeah, I can definitely see that. You I know? mean, that's pretty much what it is. You got all these crazy big weapons, and then you unlock different weapons as you progress throughout the game. Tons of weapons. There's yeah. a lot, and you can dual wield them, and you can actually set up your own little yeah. which ones you, you want to use. And you can set up on different paths, so you can set have two weapons on one and two weapons on the other, and then you're crossing over. You got this giant needle, and I'm just like, all right. It'll... It does get a bit repetitive for me. I found that, you know, over the course of the game, the, the level design wasn't very interesting. Even though you could kind of get to new areas and unlock some stuff, it felt like every level you're just walking to a room, million guys file in, you kill them all, you go to the next room. It got a little repetitive for me, and, you know, there is an extra content after you kind of beat the story. You can do challenges and yeah. have more combat modes. But I was almost hoping you'd take it to the next step and make it a little more Metroid, maybe a little more Castlevania with a little more exploration in there. Yeah, I mean, th there is a little bit of exploration. You're trying to unlock keys and trying to get stuff to go into different rooms and yeah. different sections of the level open up as you progress throughout the game. Well, clearly we're both pretty impressed with what they're doing with the Dishwasher Vampire Smile. Kooky story, unbelievable, visceral gameplay. <laughs> Terpsichorean even. Terpsichorean even. Let's score this thing up and get out of here. We have more swimming to do. I'm yeah. gonna give the Dishwasher Vampire Smile an eight out of 10. Much like my tan, I'm giving it an eight as well. Nice. Could be a nine five if I just yeah, stayed that's out. Yeah, like, that's more of a nine Look at those out of ten. Biceps tan are like line. A seven. That's yeah. The, no, don't. Short sleeve shirt. You're blinding me with your paleness. No.